despite only being pre-season, Burn, you must be disappointed with the scoreline and the performance today, or not? Not the performance. You know, I, I think the players worked their socks off. Um, disappointed very much so with with the result, um, and disappointed for the players because they they don't want to lose by that margin. But the performance, we worked hard. You know, we kept on working. Look, on today's performance, the whole thing, we were, we were outclassed by a, a better side, individually and collectively. Having said all of that, you know, I must stress that we did have players missing. We didn't have Shane Sutton, we didn't have Jeff White. Um, Aaron Warwick has come and stepped into the goals for us and, and, and done really well for us. Um, you've got Cookie missing, we've got Craig Williams missing, who, who are big players for us. Uh, so, it, you know, I'm not... Like downhearted, it's one of those who are a bit frustrated and frustrated for the players, probably you know more so. Uh, but we'll we'll pick ourselves up, you know. We'll start again and, and move on to the looking forward to the, the the start against Bangor. Do you feel that if you had them players such as Jeff White and, and Shane Sutton, it would have been a tighter game? I think it would have done. Yeah, I think so because they're big players. Shane Sutton's a big, strong, physical player. You know, Max then goes to left back. Kieran, Kieran Mills Evans was another one that was missing. I've had to put Tom Goodwin into right back position, and uh, he, he stepped in. He hasn't made a qualm about it, uh, and, and done a, a reasonable job there for me. So there are there are positives outside of the, the team that play today. We, we just have to, you know, try and move forward and. And people like um, Nathan, it was a wake-up call for like Nathan and James O'Neill. This is the standard that's required, particularly if you want to aim for that top six. Um, so it would be a big wake wake-up call, and, and you know I've not we've not lost any points today, which is the good thing. Um, will it dent the lads' confidence? The result? Uh, well, I hope it doesn't. I've just said to them there, you know, look, lads, I'm not going to give you a rollicking today. Let's go through. We'll talk. We'll talk about things. We'll talk about it on on Tuesday. We'll talk over the weekend and when I speak to individual players. And if it's a bit dented, you know, we just said there. But don't forget, we've got five or six players to come back that will make a big difference to this team and this squad. Um, Hensford were, were on top form today, they were physical and they were sharp. Will you, do you think you'll play a better side than that this season? I think, uh, and somebody's just said to me now, just talking to Jeff White, he said, to be fair, I think if they were in the Welsh League, I think they'd probably be there winning it alongside TNS. They are a very strong side. You know, They gained 93 points in the league that they were in last year. Uh, and in the playoff finals, they beat FC United with a crowd of 4,000. You know they're a strong physical side. Um, they had everybody there today. The the whole, you know, kit and caboodle of all the team, the squad. Uh, so we we didn't. We, we like I said, we've got five or six players, and that makes a difference to any team. You take five of your best senior players out of any side, whatever side, Chelsea, Man United, it makes a difference. Um, is there any update on the injuries with, with Mike Platt and Jeff White? Yeah, Jeff White was very pleasing today. He's joined in the warm-up. We're delighted with that. He's going to be getting a game on Tuesday for about 45 minutes with the youth because we're eligible to play. It's a friendly anyway. And we, we can play someone you know, uh, over 18 years of age. So that'll be good for him to play in that. Um, uh, Mike Platt is responded very, very well as well. So I'm pleased with him. Uh, so there might be an opportunity for him to do some training with us this week. Um, Aaron Warwick was was terrific in goal today. He saved a lot of chances. Is he going to be involved at all this season? Or yeah, yeah he will because he, he he's earned the right to be involved. You know, with what he's done there, and uh, that's one thing that we've lacked. If we've needed a goalkeeper, we, we needed a backup, um, and, and he's certainly done okay there today. He's done very very well. Like you said, he's pulled us some good saves. Um, and then we'll do a bit of training with him Tuesday and Thursday, uh, goalkeeper training, uh, to get him back in the swing of things. Because he's just stepped into the breach from like 10 days ago when I rung him and said, look, we need you, can you step up? Yeah, I'll bring me gloves along. And it was simply like that. And he's done terrific. You know, it's disappointing for him because it, it sounds worse on him being a goalkeeper.